So before we get into any tracing of an image, we're going to go into our Bezier tools and just get a hang of drawing curves and straight lines with this tool and manipulate the nodes themselves. So click on the Bezier curves tool and make sure we have our create regular Bezier path selected and the shape of none. Okay, so first thing I want to do is actually create a square on page. And to do that, we're just going to click and release, and that will create our first node. Now, if I try to create a square, I'm going to have to click and release on each of the points, sorry, each of the corners, and then click on the main, main node to actually close the square. Now, that, that square isn't, the, straight, the lines aren't straight, so I'm not happy with that, so I'm just going to delete that. Now, if I start going by clicking and releasing, I'm pressing now, if I move the mouse and press down the control key, watch what happens. We're actually moving in 15 degree angles. And you'll notice that going straight, if you hold down the control key, you can actually go nicely straight across the page. And if you note, notice down the bottom here, if you watch down the bottom, actually moving straight to the right we're actually at minus zero this is because this is from 180 east to zero west sorry one zero east to 180 west and anything up in this area above is in the plus so we're going from zero to 180 and then minus 180 to zero in the bottom section so we've got plus and minus and it's the same in programming it's the same in in illustration and artwork zero is all, zero degrees is always to the right starts on the right so I want to down the control key and move into our desired location so I'm going to go a distance of 30 and we can see down here the distance in whatever you set up to I've got mine set up to millimeters that's the default so if we go to 30, that would do, we can adjust that if we want to do. Now pressing control and going down 30 again, or around about 30, I'm going to go to 30.2, still holding down control and click release and back up, click and release. Okay, so we've almost got a straight um, square. I can adjust this. I can adjust this slightly by double clicking. So we get our, our nodes and just adjusting these nodes out. Pressing the control key again, I can snap into position and get these in. Okay. So these these are cusp nodes. They are corner nodes. So they create straight straight corners. Um, so if we move this from side to side, as you can see, those corners haven't got any curves on them at all. Let's just put that back to how, how it was, pressing Control Z to undo those changes. Now, here's where it gets interesting. A colleague of mine said to me, um, they went to a, a interview for illustration, and they was asked to create a circle, but they wasn't allowed to use the circle tool. Well, how do you do that? Well, here we've created a square using our Bezier curve tool. And the most simplest thing is, is to actually take one of the nodes and using these tools up here and changing to either an auto smooth node or a symmetrical node, I can actually curve these out. And if I do these for all of them, we've now created a circle. So click on our node and click in on, on using all smooth. So I've created a circle now out of a square. So if you ever hit, hit with that um, interview question, that's how you create a circle without using the circle tool. Anyway, um, now we have these 
these different uh, types of notes. We've, we've changed them to all to smooth notes. We can change them back to corner notes if we want. But you'll notice we still have it as auto smooth. It will still be auto smooth. Now, there, there we go. There, now it's a corner corner note. Sorry, I have to cut that bit out because that was wrong. I was a bit confused there why why that was actually happening. So let's change that back to auto smooth. Okay, so you will notice we've got these handles on to actually change. The um, the way the this this line here is called a skeleton line, so it changes. It shows you where the actual path will sit, and the path at the moment is actually on the skeleton line itself. Some modes you will see the skeleton line and the path line, and that's because the path is deviated from the skeleton line. And the way to get that back is by adding more nodes onto there. But we'll get to get around to that. Um, these handles. They will actually you'll be able to see them from um, up here. So, so this one here shows the best of handles or selected nodes. So if we turn that off, you'll notice all the handles are now have now been removed. Turn that back on to show them. Let's turn that back into auto smooth node. So. The different types of the, the difference between a auto uh, a auto smooth node and a uh, make selected node node smooth or the make set uh, make sorry make selected node symmetrical um, may look exactly the same on here. So if I change these to the individual ones, so I've made one smooth. Can make this one. Sorry, I can make this one symmetrical. This one should be smooth. That's a smooth node. That's a symmetrical node. And this one is symmetrical node. That one is an auto smooth node. And this one, I'm going to make a corner node. And you can see that the this one, this node here, the auto smooth node. Acts exactly the same as this one, but if you look at these handles, if I move this one up and down, the symmetrical node, the handles are kept symmetrical. So if I pull these handles out, they keep proportional to, uh, sorry, in the same proportion as each other. So they're symmetrical, it's like the same length. Whereas I pull this one out. And you can have them at, at different different lengths. The handles at different length. The corner node again. These can be at whatever length you want. But if we take our smooth node, if we move one handle, the other one will stay opposite to the, to where the handle is so it's always in line where the corner node we can actually move these into different locations to create our well, our corner Let's get rid of the shape a minute I just deleted the node which I don't want to do Let's delete that Let's just get rid of this line. So another example, if I just create a triangle, now if I want to close this node, I can right click, sorry, double click, not right click, sorry, let me start again, there to there, to there, double click. So edit pass by nose tool. So at the moment these are cusp nodes or corner nodes. So we select our top corner node and we'll go through them. So at the moment they have, it is selected as a corner node. Um, our show path outline 
also known as skeleton, is on, and our show bezier candles selected nodes is on. So first things first, we'll change it to a select uh, make selected nodes smooth. So it's smoothed out of this line now, and now we've got an arc rather than a a point. And if I move these handles, they will change, but I can make one side more curve than the other. So let's move to make no symmetrical now. And what you'll see is that these lines now I've clicked on made no symmetrical are, are the same. They're symmetrical to each other. So if I move this down now and move them in, you'll know you'll notice that that is not that's annoying. Um, I'll show you that will happen happen in a minute. So if you move these in, don't get too close, move these back out, you'll see that they both change in relation to each other. What happened just a minute ago when I moved it in, I actually hit this, um, this internal node and it said, you notice what it come up, handle to smooth node. And what then happens, only one, one side Will actually pull out so it's actually changed this node back to a smooth node rather than the symmetrical node i find that quite annoying sometimes but obviously it's a, it's a bit of a shortcut by pulling this in to here pulling it back out you can actually make this into a smooth node and um, rather than a a uh, symmetrical node let's move that back to symmetrical so our sp smooth node will allow for one side to be a different size to the other but they will still keep in the handles will be still be opposite to each other so if I move this one up this one will move down and in, in, in relation now all to smooth is the same as our smooth node there we go so, make no smooth. And, move it all to smooth. There we go. So, both move. It's only symmetrical that keeps those in relationship, relationship to each other. We can also alter the curvature of the actual path by actually pulling. I don't believe this is in Illustrator. I think it's a uh, Inkscape um, feature. We can actually pull the sides of the actual shape out. And as you can see, because I've got this still in symmetrical, it, the node is symmetrical. It will do it in proportion. If I change this to uh, change this to a all too smooth. I can then change these out to wherever I want. They will ha still have some effect on the opposite side, but not as much as the symmetrical. If I change this to a corner node, then it will have me adjusting the actual curve will have no effect on this corner node at all on the sorry on the other side at all so i can actually move these into a different shape to add nodes on these lines say if i wanted to um, make this shape a bit more complex i can actually click on the segment which will then highlight these two nodes and then click add node just try that again Let me zoom in because I don't think I'm actually clicking on that segment there. Sorry. So click on the segment, add node. There we go. I wasn't actually clicking, clicking on the segment. And again, it's added a auto smooth node there. As you can see by the square. And I can change that to whatever type of node that I want. So I'm going to go for a corner node. 
effect I can change the sides. There is another way of actually adding nodes, which is a bit of a shortcut. So actually find the part the segment that you want to add the node to and double clicking. So now we've got a node here. And if I want wanted one on here, just double click. So double click on the skeleton or the red line. We add the notes.